Now we present our visual query formulation component named Optique VQS. We will first give a brief overview of the component, then we will formulate an example query. Optique VQS is composed of three widgets, which are orchestrated to elicit the information need of users. The first widget is menu-based and enables users to navigate through concepts via relationships. The second widget is form-based and used for projection and selection operations. The third widget is diagram-based and gives an overview of the constructed query and allows further manipulation of it. Now let's formulate a query asking for all fields which are currently operated by the company Statoil and when they were discovered. We first look for the field concept in the first widget. We can use the search bar for quick access. Here it is. It appears on the diagram-based widget as a variable node. To select only fields operated by Statoil, we need to join the field variable node with a company variable node. At this point, the first widget lists all the concept relationship pairs pertaining to the field concept. Let's find the company concept with the current drilling operator relationship. Here it is. We need to constrain the company short name to Statoil. Let's do it. Now it appears on the company variable node in blue with the letter C denoting constrained. Now to see the discovery date in the result, we need the date when the field's discovery wellbore was drilled. Therefore, we connect the field variable node with the wellbore variable node through the discovery wellbore relationship. First, we need to click on the field variable node to change the focus. Now let's select the wellbore discovery wellbore option from the menu-based widget. We want to see the completion dates of the discovery wellbores in the output, so let's click on the I icon next to the date wellbore completion attribute in the form-based widget. The attribute appears on the variable node in black, with the letter O denoting output. Now our query is complete. We can see the resulting sparkle by clicking on the Sparkle Query button. We can continue interacting with the query in textual mode by clicking on the linked variables as you see. A set of operations is provided underneath the query diagram. For instance, you can undo and redo your operations. You can also save your query and access the previously saved queries and query drafts. Now let's execute our query and see the results.